Hey guys, it's Chris again, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, World Tour, and Guitar Hero Metallica videos. Um, learning how to play drums by using a video game. Can it be done? I'm attempting it. I've been playing now for about six or eight months, and uh, I think it's helping. I mean, granted, it's all about memorization and, you know, learning what to hit correctly, you know, in terms of switching your hands and, and stuff like that. And I've talked to a couple of real drummers and they say, you know what, teaching yourself is really hard, but it can be done. And at this point in my life, I want to learn an instrument and learn to play it. And I also want to have a good time and rock out some of my favorite songs. So anyway, this video is for Guitar Hero World Tour, Guitar Hero Metallica, and using my Ion Drum Rocker. I get a lot of questions. You guys are like, well, how do you use your drum rocker and get all five lanes or five notes um, when playing Guitar Hero Metallica or Guitar Hero World Tour? And uh, the answer is this little box right here. Uh, this is known as a J5. It is a custom Ion drum brain um, because it interfaces with my Ion but it'll actually interface with any electronic drum set. So if you've got like a $3,000 set of Roland V drums and you want to use those for Guitar Hero World Tour, all you need is this box right here. You plug it in, set everything up, and you're good to go. Um, just like the Guitar Hero World Tour drum set, that right there is the actual interface from it right there on top. Yeah, you got your X and Y and your A and B buttons, your start and select, your guide button, and uh, your cross pad. Um, <clears throat> I'll get down on the floor here and show you the other side. You got your headset port, your sync button, so you can sync it up to your system. And it runs off of two AA batteries, just like it does with the regular set, lasts just as long. You know, no, no less or no more than it would on a regular Guitar Hero World Tour drum set uh, because, the, you know, it's not about how big the pads are and how many you're using and stuff. They're, you know, they're just there as triggers, you know, so no big deal. Um, also got the MIDI port on there from the World Tour set. The MIDI port was used to plug into your PC and set the sensitivity of the pads on the World Tour set. I don't need to do that on my drum rocker, but it's still included just because it's part of the circuitry. And it's also got the two eighth inch expansion ports for, uh, these are for the bass pedals, uh, the eighth inch in bass pedals. Um, the reason I don't need to adjust using the MIDI port is I have sensor sensitivity uh, screws on the bottom. Um, the sensitivity screws can be adjusted right or left. Uh, the more you turn them to the right, uh, the more sensitive the pad becomes. The more you turn it to the left, the less sensitive the pad becomes. Uh, it took me a while to figure out what the best settings would be for the way that I play and you know how I hit the pads and stuff. And we all know that with World Tour, there's accents, so it is velocity sensitive. Uh, just like the World Tour set, um, the Ion set is also velocity sensitive, and you can see that with Rock Band 2. But... Um, you want to be able to get those extra points and keep your multiplier up with those accents. So I have my sensitivity screws set perfectly. So if I wail on, on the pad, I'll get that accent that the game wants. Or if I just hit it normal or soft, it'll register as a normal hit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've got the colors on the back. And, you know, red, blue, green... There's a yellow in there somewhere, and orange. I mean, you basically see from the bottom how they line up. This is red, this is blue, this is green, this is yellow, this is orange, and this is white, which is base. Um, there's two inputs for each one. So I technically, like for you guys that, um, that have a high-end drum set, and you guys want to utilize all your pads, you know, maybe you got a dual snare or you got like two floor toms or something you've got the inputs for it i've got two of each you could also use splitters if you wanted to i plan on using a splitter to add more oranges even though i only have two i plan on using three orange symbols you know because we all know that two crashes and a ride you know are pretty much as close to realistic as you're going to get um with this game anyway i've got the two inputs for each they're all wired up correctly and uh, it basically lets me play World Tour 
the same way, or Guitar Hero Metallica for that matter, the same way as I would if I was using a real Guitar Hero World Tour drum set. Um, and it's wireless, which is great. You know, it lets me uh, play as far away or as close as possible. I'm not limited on distance like the Ion Drum Brain. Um, I showed you the sensitivity screws so I can set my, you know, my sensitivities of my pads. Uh, let me play my accents and stuff. And this is how I get all five lanes or all five notes in the game. Um, I have some other videos. I'm going to share some other of my toys uh, for this drum set with you guys. Uh, any other questions about my J5? Um, just ask in the comments section, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, also, continue to check out my diary videos of me playing certain songs, you know. I mean, granted, I'm rocking out and having a good time, but at the same time, it's also to show the improvement. And for me to watch, you know, I mean, I watch my videos from four or five months ago. I see I hold the sticks differently. Um, my hands are a different way, and... Um, I've learned to play quicker and more accurately over time and while I could probably sit down at a regular drum set or you know a, uh, a real electronic drum set and bang out a normal beat I don't I don't think I could play any one of these songs without looking at the note chart here and there I'm, I, I've started to memorize some of the songs but I mean, that's what being a real drummer is all about, is being able to sit down at the set and play with a band. And I'm not there yet, but, you know, I've only been playing for four or five months, so we'll see. And uh, the J5 has definitely helped me out with uh, the Guitar Hero World Tour stuff. Makes it a lot, makes the experience a lot more accurate and more realistic, because we all know that uh, the Ion Brain is a rock band brain, and it dumbs World Tour and Guitar Hero Metallica down to four lanes. It doesn't give you that orange symbol, and uh, that thing that makes things a lot more difficult, and it also makes things a lot more uh, realistic. Um, you don't want to be using the blue pad and then the blue symbol uh, instead of the orange symbol. So that's why I had this built, and it's definitely a great device. Any other questions, let me know. Um, next, check out my Ion Expander and DM5 video. Thanks, guys. Bye.